Hi, and welcome to the Playwork Essentials videos, uh, a partnership between Alice Gordelli and Cymru Adult Learning Wales and Play Wales, and I'm your Playwork Tutor, Martin. So this video is going to look at the Playwork Principles, and particularly Principles 1 and 2. The Playwork Principles were developed in 2005 and are a set of eight underpinning principles that establish the ethos behind Playwork, and they guide everything that we do. Before we move on to Principle 1 and 2, uh, I want to take a moment to think about your own childhood. Uh, because the universal truth of us as adults is that at one point we were all experts in play when we were children. So I want you to take a moment to think about where you used to go, the sorts of things you used to get up to, where, who you went there with, uh, what you played with. And overall, what was the sense of the feelings that you associate with playing as a child? And when we do this exercise in class, we, we get a lot of the same sort of themes that come back from people. Generally, people talk about a sense of fun and enjoyment. They talk about the freedom of being out to play with no adults around and with nobody telling them what to do. Very often, those memories are outside. They're in natural spaces, whether that's a garden or a park or woodlands or by water or making mud pies. The natural world features very strongly. As well as that, people talk about taking risks pushing themselves both mentally and physically to, to try new things and to have that sense of excitement and exhilaration that comes from really pushing ourselves. There's a sense of doing what you want, of doing what comes naturally and not being told what to do, and of exploring our surroundings, of getting to know the community by playing through it and doing so with our friends and building the relationships and the social skills and all of that that comes with being around other children. And principles one and two really do back up those uh, our, our own experiences of playing. Principle one is actually about why children play. And it says that all children and young people need to play, that the impulse to play is innate, and that play is a biological, psychological and social necessity, and that it is fundamental to the healthy de development and well-being of individuals and communities. So that drive comes from within that drive to play, and that it's important for our bodies, for our minds, but it's important for society as well, and it recognises that it's an important part of healthy, well-functioning communities that children are able to play. And Principle 2 talks about what play is. It tries to define play, and it defines it as a process that's freely chosen, personally directed and intrinsically motivated. That is that children and young people determine and control the content and intent of their play by following their own instincts, ideas and interests in their own way and for their own reasons. So play is a process. It's about the doing. It's about the being in the moment and not necessarily about what comes afterwards. If it's not freely chosen and personally directed, if the motivation for it isn't coming from within, then it isn't play. It defines play as separate from other things that children might get involved in. So really, really important that we remember that as we go into our work with children, that actually it needs to be about what the children are driven naturally to do and that they get to choose uh, what it is, and not, not just what it is, but how they play as well. So those are principles one and two. Like I say, principles three to eight then go on to talk about how play workers go about supporting those two principles and those are the subject of another video. If you'd like more information on the Playwork principles, on Playwork or on Playwork training, there are links in the video description below and don't miss out on our other Playwork Essentials videos by following our social media channels and thanks very much for watching.